Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Today I'm just gonna be testing how well the new-ish Gion Wax goes on the car. This car has been polished ooh, in a Gion Primer. Okay, this stuff here that we were talking about in another video, like the SiO2 layer that it leaves on the car. And you can see we've got, we've um, got a nice finish here. Really nice finish actually, it looks a bit, the camera lens might be a bit smudgy, everything looks a bit blurry. Oh, there we go. Why does it go blurry when I can point down here and then nice and sharp up there? Something to do with the camera and the light. Um, and I've gone over an hour after, or lunch after dinner, um, with Q2M prep. Lovely, limonini, citrusy, zinging um, degreaser, which is uh, doesn't remove the SI2 layer, it just removes the carriers so that we can go on with the wax. Right, this is the bit I want to get on the video. So, what I'm going to do is just put a circle of wax on this pad. How does that go on? That goes on pretty nice. Pretty easy to apply it. So now, I'm going to see how it goes on to the car for my camera mount spot, which is here. And then, wide. Yeah, you can see everything there. Let's see how I get on. With this, here we got the wax. So we want to wax a big section at a time. So let's just see if this works. Let's put a bit more in here. It's nice that you can dab it out as well. I should take this off. I'm smacking the paintwork with my zip there, which isn't good, is it? But never mind. Just be careful. Okay, let's go on and sort of speed two. No, well, very slow speed. In fact, speed one even, because this is forced rotation. Here we go. Looks great. Look at that. So I could, in theory, that's lovely. That works so well for a paste wax. Normally they're a bit sticky to apply. It's just gliding across the panel. And it's put a real nice thin layer. Even on here, where I didn't sort of prime the pan, well, I reckon I could keep going. I reckon I could keep going. Can I do it one-handed? It's a bit foolhardy, isn't it? Let's try. So it's, look how it's very slow. Probably need, I think I need more wax, but maybe not. No. Yeah, I need more wax. It's running a little bit dry, so let's load up again. And I love the way you can just give this a little twirl. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Oh, I need two hands. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. There we go. Right, so it's like a Pritt stick. You've got to get a bit more going. So then we're just going to... You need two hands for this. There we go. A bit more wax on there. Uh, how can I do this? I'll just put the camera down here. And you can just see. I'll show you the, the after effects. I'm going to get stick about this uh, <laughs> This zip thing, I can feel it tapping away, so that's not going to hold it. Let's just finish off this. to that edge with this force rotation it's nice it really applies it at speed one i guess yeah we could we can actually go over that because that sits a little bit low so we should really get right up to the edge let's just do that because we don't we don't want to miss a bit well that'll do just let that cure out should i hold them should work it really that'll do yeah now, we leave this wax 
<coughs> excuse me, we leave this wax to cure for half an hour and it buffs lovely. But obviously we've got to wax the entire car. But you see how quickly I can lay this wax down. So um, let me lay it over the entire car and then we'll come back for the buff. Okay, guys, so we're back. I've just got a slight problem. It's spitting outside and I can't quite get down there or around the back of the car without lifting that up. So I need a, a better day. Uh, it's gone five o'clock now. So I've got to stop and tomorrow I've got to do a full detail on another car. So um, I'm going to have to leave this half done, which is a bit of a pain. So all I've got to do is front bumper, rear and then lower skirts and below that line another day. So what we're going to do is just show you the buffage. The rest of it we've done. So let's just do the buffage on here. Um, here we go. So it works really well on machine. Let's have a look. The buff is really sweet as well. Look at that. I'm just going to, I'm not going to go in circles. I'm just going to move the towel up in a straight line and see what we get. And back down. That's not bad. It's a really smooth wax to buff. It's really good. Um, so yeah, there we go. But really, let's just stick to the rules. Keep the little pinch going. And then gentle little circles. It's like a workout. I've taken my jacket off. That was causing me some grief. Always make sure you buff over those edges. You can leave wax. It's very easy to leave wax, isn't it? So there, that wax. Something with this camera always makes it look a bit sort of fuzzy. I don't know. A bit like opaque. And I look up here and everything looks nice and crystal clear. And I look back here. I wonder if it's focusing on the reflection or something. I don't know. So that looks better, doesn't it? So let's just show you one more, more live buffage with a bit of light. So let's go. Look at that, it's, it's a really nice buffing product. What's that there? I can see a water spot, can I? I thought I, thought, I, thought I saw a putty cat, something. I saw something. <laughs> I'm seeing it on the viewfinder there, but I can't see it when I look in real life. Oh well, never mind. There, there, isn't it? Something needs a little buff there. Whatever that is. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go, guys. So can you use Geon Wax on by machine? Yeah, it works really well by machine. And you can still, you know, it puts out a nice thin layer. You can, it takes the effort out of going around the car. And the Geon applicator is really good, isn't it? It's clever. But to apply it by hand takes a long time. To apply it by machine, yes, I've got to buff that wing out. You know, you can do it in minutes. So that's a good little combo. Geon primer and Geon wax used on, well, I've been using it on force rotation or normal dual action polisher to prime and wax your car. And you're gonna need the prep. It's a lovely fresh limonene smelling panel wipe, which again is a really, really good product because I've gone and got more of it. It's not the strongest one on the market, but it doesn't need to be. You know, it's just a nice, whatever they're using, the limonene is really nice. So there we go, guys. Let me know, give this a try. Put the gel on wax down. This will bead like crazy. People say that this wax doesn't last that long. It will last two or three months for me. Um, and that's really all I need. So take care and it beads like crazy as well. Um, and I shall see you soon. Duke. Where was I when you